behind every moment of adversity in your life, two things will happen. There is a lesson and there is a blessing. Every moment of adversity has those two things that come with it. There's always a lesson and there's always a blessing. Pain always leaves a present. Every time you're in pain, it leaves a gift behind. So what happened was, after all of that happened, I got a call from a company called T-Mobile. The Super Bowl is a month after that. They brought me down to do a Super Bowl commercial. A Super Bowl commercial in the United States is the most highest watched program on television. These commercials are tens of millions of dollars. They will pay you millions of dollars to be in a Super Bowl commercial. They paid me so much money to be in a Super Bowl commercial acting like I gave the wrong answer to the telephone company <laughs> to reenact the Miss Universe thing. They paid me what I make on Miss Universe times 10. And then 14 countries sent my wife and I a letter saying that was the most honorable and honest thing they've ever seen in the history of television. They gave my wife and I 14 villas around the world. There are 14 villas that my wife and I can go to, to in Curacao, the Maldives, uh, Abu Dhabi, uh, France, that we can go to any time for vacation. So behind that, a lot of good happened. That's why when you have bad moments in your life, you just have to ride them out. Because God always has a gift behind every moment of pain that you have. When a man leaves you, there is a gift behind him leaving. Sometimes the breakup is the blessing. See, sometimes you gotta get rid of a man in order for God to give you the man that you really need. So sometimes losing a man is not a loss. You just have to hang in there. He might have something better for you. So every time something bad happens, you just have to wait on the lesson and the blessing. It always happens. It always happens. You just can't act too miserable. Oh, it me, something happened to me. Oh, I, my man walked out on me. All oh, me and the dogs. No, they're not. You just had one dog. He was the dog. Just wait. Trust me, I know how that worked too. I'm on my third marriage. Trust me, I know. <laughs> I have been with the wrong one a couple of times. And then, but I was the wrong one because I kept picking them. Then after I got really messed up, I said, God, tell you what, I'm through. You picked the one for me. He sent me Marjorie. 